this is Galit Gopharp and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you feel ready because today our quote of the day is, if the path you're walking on seems to be leading you to nowhere, stop and choose another. It's never too late to change direction. It's by someone anonymous. It's never too late to follow your dreams. It's never too late to change your direction in life. There may be many reasons to change your direction in life. You may, you may have had a passion for something, but never pursued the path because of different obligations and responsibilities you may have had. Or you may be free now because technology may have replaced you in your job and you may need to start afresh. Or maybe your values and priorities have changed throughout the years and you are different from when you started your career off and you are looking for something that is more in line with the new you. There are many reasons to start something new in later years. In fact, research shows that 80% of people want to make a career change after the age of 45, but only 6% follow through with the change. If you are one of the few, who do want to start something new in their later years and will follow through, know that you are not alone. J.R.R. Tolkien only published his book The Hobbit when he was 45 years old. This book has now sold over a hundred million copies and has been translated into over 50 languages. The next book, his next book, The Lord of the Rings, was published when he was 56 years old. John Warnock uh, founded Adobe when he was 42 years old and he developed the PDF that we all use now at the age of 50. Charles Darwin was 50 years old when he wrote On the Origin of Species. And Julia Child, the famous chef, wrote her first cookbook when she was 50 years old, which started her whole new career as a successful chef and a very well-known one. Joseph A. Campbell from the Campbell Soup Company started his canned food company when he was 52 years old, and the company only sold their first soup when he was 78 years old. And Leo Godwin was 50 years old when he started his insurance company, Geico. And Ray Kroc was a milkshake machine salesman before he bought it to McDonald's when he was 52 years old. And these are only a few examples. You actually have a lot going for you when you start late. Maybe your kids have grown and left the house, leaving you with more free time. Maybe you recently divorced and have more time and you also want to do something that perhaps maybe your spouse uh, may have prevented you from doing. You also may be a late bloomer or someone who has suffered from low self-esteem and now this has changed with the years, giving you more self-awareness and higher self-esteem to go after your dreams. It is good to know that your chance of success has nothing to do with your age. Your chances of success have, have to do with your willingness to try persistently until you reach a breakthrough. It's never too late to change direction or to decide to invest more into yourself and in something that you may have kept as a hobby or on a smaller flame throughout the years. You can learn something new so long as you are alive. You can learn from your mistakes or you, you can learn from other people or you can learn a new skill by studying. It is really never too late so long as you make the decision and follow through with it and keep going and never give up. If you have passion for your new idea and you have a lot of curiosity and you have learned in your previous years how to remain persistent and uh, in, in, a, in any certain field and you are generally with a positive attitude, then there is really nothing that can stop you from achieving your goals. The amazing story of the author, Harry Bernstein, uh, who believed in himself as a writer but only really came down to doing exquisite work after his wife died um, is, is a really story that really talks about this. His memoir, The Invisible Wall, a love story that broke barriers, became an immediate success when it was published in 2007. But Harry, at the time, was 96 years old. All those years, he believed in himself. He kept writing, but he only became famous for his writings when he was 96 years old. 
The key to succeed when you are starting late is not to be afraid of failure. People do become more cautious as the years go by, and this is why only 6% take the leap and start something new at a later age. They have become too comfortable to take risks, and risks are required. But you can reinvent yourself, and you can succeed. Others have done it before you, and you can do it too. All you need is the willingness to go after your dreams and the health and energy to give it your all and the persistence and determination to persevere. These will ensure that you will succeed. If you keep learning, you will stay curious and this will keep you young at heart and mind. You can learn a new skill at any age. The only thing that could be limiting you from achieving your goals at any age is only you. There are endless opportunities and all things are possible if you believe them to be. So go after your dreams. And if you fail, this just means that you're one step closer to success. Do not give up at any age. We all have one life. That's what we can be sure of. Um, (laughs) Whether we come around one more time or a few more times is speculation. So why waste this precious opportunity? Do what you believe in. Put in the effort. You will only regret what you never tried. How much more exciting can life be if you do take the chance on yourself and do what you have been dreaming of? Wow, just think about it. Think about how exciting that could be. Define what you want. Be specific about your goals. Follow the SMART, the S-M-A-R-T method for making goals. Uh, that I have talked about in a previous video, which I will link to at the end of this video, and then follow through till you reach your dreams. Do what needs to be done. Learn a new skill. Move to a different place uh, where you can surely fulfill your dreams. Take the necessary risks. Uh, Be bold and challenge yourself. You can do it. Now is the best time to start. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, where do I really want to be in my life? And what is holding me from getting there? And will I be of the 6% who go after their dreams or will I let my dreams die inside of me? If you do decide to go after your dreams, then ask yourself, what are the next steps that I will need to take? Write these steps down and start to work your way towards achieving your goals starting today. As usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer to these questions in a notebook especially prepared for this coaching session and so that you can look over and make sure that you're following through on your to, towards reaching your goals. So to finish this video off, the affirmation of the day is, I am alive so I can change my life and my circumstances. I have hope and it's never too late to start. I am alive so I can change my life and change my circumstances. I have hope. It's never too late to start. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your life to a better place. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorillediet.com to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.